compartment here for, for athletes. If you increased your absorbic acid, which is water-soluble, mm-hmm. it is not, according to research, toxic. Okay. Now, of course, a little chuckle, increase in vitamin C, depending on your body weight, might make you a little bit more irregular than somebody else. doesn't do anything harmful to you at all. But what it does do is lessen the results of lactic acid built up in the muscles from exercise. And it's also an essential uh, vitamin for tissue, as it works with other things like magnesium and also potassium. So as we evolve in this athletic discussion, we will present to the athletes how do I take care of myself based on a vitamin regimen or an herbal. There is no one magic bullet uh, at all. It's something that's total. Enzymes, coach, when you say when you, an, an athlete has soreness, could be nutritional. It could be that that athlete is not getting the proper nutrition. They could be experiencing headaches from things that they're drinking. Could be excess you know, sodas that are out there. There's things that are chemically that we should not uh, probably take too much of. Maybe do it in moderation or do away with it. And enzymes, your food, if an athlete uses the microwave oven as his main uh, avenue of approach to eat, then I'd say there's a potential that you're depleting the enzymes and the amino acid capabilities. Amino acids are the building block of proteins, and your enzymes are essential for life for the catalyst of life. Uh-huh. It's, it's what an athlete needs. So. If they're experiencing soreness, it's not as easy to say, what do they do? It's, it's a host of things. You can relax a soreness. Right now, if there's an athlete out there, right now, according to studies, and this is over the counter, that you can go get. There's an athlete right, right now who has sore muscles because they just went out, they either ran or they've been playing doubleheader of baseball, then go to the, to the pharmacy. I, I, this is over the counter, mm-hmm. and this is something that I've personally experienced and other, other athletes and family members. And get magnesium, where you could put this uh, into the water, and you will go ahead and experience a softening, because it deals with the muscle tissues as well as it takes internally. And you'll find when you wake up in the morning, you're going to feel refreshed and relaxed, because remember, your skin is an organ and it does react to what goes in. Mm-hmm. And what, how you put chemicals in your body and drink, and the water that you drink, whether it's pure, and we'll get into that as we discussed it, how do we get pure water into our bodies? It is amazing how simple it is to get pure water instead of turning on the tap. And, for example, Chicago area. Coach, we've talked about this. Turn on that Chicago tap while well, that athlete is turning in water, you know, and it, it comes from Lake Michigan, and arguably we can say that it's chlorinated to, the, to a high degree. Well, some studies have shown that when an athlete, you know, aside from soreness discussion, when an athlete drinks that or any other person, what does it show in research, and I, I advise the people out there listening to go do the research, chlorine goes after the white blood cells in the liver. Now, this also inhibits the liver, which is the main organ, one of the most important elimination organs, to function. So when you say soreness, I say what else is going on that makes it even more? If you cannot eliminate toxins in your body, soreness will become more prevalent in the athlete. So hopefully what I just said answered your question and see that it is not a complete, one thing is a complete answer. You have to start doing a detox clean out the vital organs, and it's very simple to do. And, and in some regards, um, depending on what, you know, inexpensive when you go on out there and get it on your own, because that's, that's what this show is about, to ask questions and to go out and research and to find it. Doctor, let me athlete? ask you a quick question, not to interrupt sure. you. This is Matt here in the studio. Yes, Matt. Um, do you provide programs for... Uh, student athletes, for chil- child athletes to work with coaches, park districts, associations, schools. I mean, you're covering a lot of ground here. 
on a number of different levels. I'm wondering if you have programs or you avail yourself to particular programs, athletic organizations, whether it's Little League, whether it's um, uh, high school sports, uh, working in conjunction with trainers and managers on a variety of levels, or is this more broad-based than what you, uh, what you avail yourself? Well, when you, if, if you're using the word avail yourself, is am I actively working with other associations or other leagues? Correct. That's correct. Yeah. yeah, well, the answer would go back to recently retired from the military. So the answer would be no, uh, because I have worked uh, 30 years of service um, in regards to one career, and what I have done, as I uh, earlier mentioned, is not just my personal experience in reading and researching over the years. Um, one of my undergraduate degrees was health, and then I had personal experiences where I had to go and research to also look at my own health. And then that's when I found out and loved to read more and more on the subject, but I had not approached or gone to associations. The, so the reason, though, that the, the, the reason that I'm asking is because yeah. a lot of what you're talking about is uh, it, it, it's very good, very concise information that I right. think even children should have access to. Um, especially when you talk about things like the build of a lactic acid after working out or after a game or what have you, most athletes on a pro or a semi-pro level are pretty much aware of that, regardless of whether or not they follow it or how strict. But I think that this is something, this knowledge in a, a, a some sort of package form, whether whether it's a, a, a lecture to trainers or what have you, is something that I think even children athletes can benefit. Coach deals with um, a variety of type of athletes uh, from uh, high school age and, and above, but I'm wondering if that's not something that's neglected from high school backwards. Well, again, the, the only the preface when you're doing such a thing is not coming from the cure or here's a symptom uh, point of view. You're coming from academic research and, you know, just using your person-to-person, -person, uh, you know, First Amendment, as it were, uh, discussions and looking at things. But as far as programs, we have health science classes. But at a high school level, we know that that doesn't go on. And now, should it? Uh, you have to take people where they can assimilate information. Do they have a precursor? Do they have some other education that allows them to get into this? I don't think there is a course uh, that I'm aware of that exists. Now, I went through courses in college, but I, I do not think that there is a course that exists in high school. And I, I hope I'm wrong because it would be wonderful to know, to know this. But with athletes knowing about lactic acid, again, that's part of it, that's soreness, but it begins at the cleansing. I would venture to say that young children today, and if... And, Use your example. If you, you look at children back in 1950s or adults, go to computer, print it out. This is, your, this is where we go to get academic knowledge in this day and age. Uh, some of it you have to go and see how it's verified and who wrote, the, who wrote the paper. And by the way, who supported and sponsored the paper? Who paid for that paper? You also have to look at that to look at the, the influence. Okay. I think if you look at photographs from the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, and the 80s, and put them side by side, looking at age groups, I think you'll see a body structure change all the way up. And this is recent. This is not something that's happened. So when athletes say that, or they're told that this, this is what you can do, I'm taking supplements. If you take a look at those pictures that I just offered up to look at, you'll see that body structures have changed. Some research has shown it's because of preservatives in food, it's because we're not eating whole foods appropriately anymore. On that is, note, we got to... why I said we're losing enzymes. We got to take a break as we're running over time, but you're getting a prelude of what's to come. Talk to me with the coach, Mike Reed Maiden. We'll be right back. Hey, did you know that you can advertise your business or product on this network, or you can have your announcements of upcoming events read for as little as $25. This would be a great opportunity to highlight your business or product to a worldwide audience. Contact our marketing department at 888-833-7688. That's 888-833-7688. 